Here is one half of the pelvis. We have three parts. We have the ilium, which is the largest part up here, the ischium, which is the part that you sit on, and the pubis, that is the anterior, inferior part of the pelvis. If we look at the front of the pelvis here, it would be sitting like this. Inside here we have the iliac fossa, along here is the iliac crest, then we have the crest coming out to a point. This is the anterior superior iliac spine or ASIS. We can follow the crest to the posterior and this point right here is the posterior superior iliac spine or PSIS. The pelvic brim is just this region right here. The subpubic angle is below. The acetabulum is basically the socket that the head of the femur is going to fit into. The pubic tubercle is this bump right here. The pubic crest is right here. Then we have the pubic symphysis, which is this piece of fibrocartilage in the center that is joining both sides of the pelvis. The auricular surface is the surface of the pelvis that the sacrum is going to articulate with. So in this intact model, we can't see it, but in the half, this is where the one side of the sacrum is going to articulate. It's this roughened portion, and that again is the auricular surface. The greater sciatic notch is right here. The lesser sciatic notch. The ischial spine sits between. The obturator foramen is here and here. The ischial ramus is right here. It's not on your list but the pubic ramus is this portion that's in the pubis. So pubic ramus, ischial ramus, and then this roughened portion that's a little bit enlarged and elevated, this is the ischial tuberosity, and this is the part of the pelvis that you sit on.